Hello, my name is Jesus Castillo from rubyguides.com and in this video you're going to learn how to fix string encoding errors in Ruby. A very important topic if you want to be able to work with data from, from multiple sources like files, databases and websites. Okay, before we get started, just a quick rem reminder for you to check out rubyguides.com and get a copy of my book so you can improve your Ruby skills. For the topic of this video, I have this string. Okay, we're going to be talking about strings and data and files, all of these very important things. So this string is composed of two types of characters. As you can see, we have regular characters like ABC, and then we have these Greek characters, and I believe the name for this character is called Sigma. Okay? So the reason that we can have these characters is something called Unicode, okay? And if I do U, if I do A, um, encoding, we can see that the uh, encoding type that allows us to have this kind of characters is called UTF-8, also known as Unicode. Now, why is this important or now? Well, because when you read a file or read data from a website or from a database, you might get the data in a different format, okay? So your string is always going to be UTF-8 by default, right? But the actual data contained in the string can be a different format, and that will give you an error, and it will stop your program from working correctly. And clearly, we don't want that, right? We want your programs to work. So let me show you an example. I'm going to make this very specific and concrete right now. I have two files inside my temporary directory. One file is a.txt, the other file is b.txt. Inside this file, I have some text. So if I try to read this file, and then I want to split the characters, and this means split by empty characters. So we are going to get as you can see here, an array where we get every individual character inside the file that we have read. And uh, you can see we have ABC again, and we have and we also have this half character. So one half, one half, one half. This again, Unicode characters, right? Now what happens if I try to read b.txt. So b has invalid characters for UTF-8 or Unicode. So when I try, we get, oh, an error. As you can see right here, what this error? Where it says invalid byte sequence. Invalid byte sequence. And in fact, it says in UTF-8. So this UTF-8 is coming from this default encoding for all Ruby strings, right? That's why it says in UTF-8. But why does it say invalid by sequence? Well, we have to investigate the data. So instead of splitting directly, I'm going to go one step back. You can always do this when you are solving problems, right? You want to break down into smaller parts. So now the smart part is taking a look at the actual data that we're reading, and we can see some strange characters right there. So if we use the bytes method, this uh, string method, we can see that these are the numbers, the values that represent these characters. So the a character is represented by the 
number, the integer 97, for example, 98 for B, 99 for C, and then these characters also have some numbers. Now, we don't know what these are, but right now we have a bigger problem, which is this error, right? How can we fix this error? Well, you can do two things to fix this kind of invalid sequence error. And these two things are one, fix the data, right? If you know you have access to the file and you can edit the file manually or whatever you're reading the database, if you can manually edit the data and fix it to change the encoding format or delete the invalid characters by hand manually, then that's one way to do that. But that's not always practical. That doesn't always work. Or simply you don't have access to the data. So what's option number two? And that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Well, option number two is to fix the encoding right here from our code. So how can we do that? Well, let me show you some examples. I have this code right here, and it's the encoding class, right? So the encoding class has all of the encoding related methods, and encoding is simply the default, the different ways that we can represent strings, right? Uh, if we do this, encoding aliases, what we get is a hash of all of the supported encoding types, right? But if I take this code, I can take the values from this hash and then unique them because there are repeated values. This removes the repeated values. And then I can select what I'm going to select. Well, let me show you how this works. I'm going to select, select so the strings that have a valid encoding. Okay, so I'm saying force encoding. So this we change the encoding of the string before changing the actual contents of the string. And we're going to ask if that's a valid encoding. And um, of course, it's not name str, it's name a. That's why I get this other error because str doesn't exist, but a does. Now what I get as a result of using this is an array of valid encodings. So what this means is that if we take our file reader and we use any of these encodings we force any of these encodings, then it's going to work. And um, let me do this so we get the correct list, right? Now, if I take this and I do force encoding, that's going to change the encoding for this string, then I can use any of these and then I won't get the error, right? I, I can now split. Now, this doesn't mean that we can see the actual characters. It is not going to make this show some valid character, but at least we remove the error. So that's already some progress and some good things, right? Now, what if, what's the other approach? Well, the other approach is to replace these characters replace the invalid characters. So for that, I have another method for you. And um, I have another method for you. Let me show that. Let's see how that works. So this method is called encode. Encode. So it's different from encoding, right? Encode is going to allow you to translate the current encoding 
to another encoding, but this changes the content. So let me show you what I mean. Again, I have the wrong um, variable. Um, mm, 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 mm. So if I use the correct variable, which is a, then I can replace the, these strange um, characters for question marks. Okay, so we can clearly see which what data we're missing here, right? We can also replace this by empty spaces, so we can completely remove the invalid characters. And now we can, of course, split, we can scan, we can match, we can use all of these methods without errors. So that's how you fix encoding errors in Ruby. And that's what encoding is, it's a way to display different kinds of characters. And remember that the default in Ruby is UTF-8 or Unicode. And you can change the default if you want, but you probably don't need to. So I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. Please click the like button for me so I know that you like it and so more people can find and benefit from this video. If you want to learn more, watch more of my videos now on this YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and visit my website rubyguides.com rubyguides.com Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.